Hey guys, thanks for tuning in today. Today we are doing uh, seared whitefish and lemon brown butter sauce and a vegetable medley. We're going to start with the veg medley first, that way we can get it going and then we'll work on a fish. We got some green beans here and all we really need to do is just kind of cut the ends of them off and they'll be ready to go. So we just kind of want to cut, you know, like the little the stem parts and then if the other end kind of looks a little funky, we'll just cut that off too. And then we'll have green, our green beans ready to go. Some of them you won't have to do because they've already, in the picking process, had that taken off. So we're just cleaning these up. You, if they're all the same length, you can kind of push, push them together a little bit and cut, cut a few at one time. But yeah, they're not uniform, so we just kind of got to do a couple at a time and go as need be. Guy needs to go. Like I said, some of these in the, the picking process, they get the ends chopped off or picked off, so they're they're fine. These last couple here. I go ahead and I have my oil in my pan and it is heating up, ready to go, so that way we can start sauteing our our veggies. We're gonna start with our uh, carrots and mushrooms first, but I want to go ahead and clean up my green beans so that way they can be ready to go because they're going to take the longest to clean. For our carrot, we're going to just peel that real quick. Uh, if you don't want to peel it, you don't have to, but I always kind of peel a bigger carrot so that way you know, it's a little cleaner and looks nicer. Just going to throw that carrot peel away. And it's going to take, we're going to cut the ends off the carrot. And then I like cutting it in half so it's a little easier to work with. And we'll kind of cut part of it off so you have a flat working surface. Cut it into a couple of planks. And then you can take those planks and just kind of cut them into little carrot sticks. So we got some carrot sticks there. We'll do some sticks with this one. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, just take your carrot and kind of just cut it into some rounds and it'll be fine. You'll have, you'll have more carrot throughout stuff that way because you'll get more rounds out of the carrot than you will sticks. But that's all right. And then we got some button mushrooms. I went ahead and cleaned these. I just took a paper towel and kind of wiped them down. Uh, don't, I won't rinse mushrooms off underneath water because they're kind of a sponge so they'll soak up that water and it'll take longer to cook. This guy's kind of a big one so I'm going to cut him in half and then just start cutting some slices out of him. Do some slices out of this one. And what's great about this is you know if you don't like some of these vegetables change it up for things that you like. If you prefer you know, bell peppers over mushrooms, do bell peppers. If you, you know, want to try this with broccoli or cauliflower, go right ahead. You know, there's, you know, it's endless possibilities of what you can combine to have a nice little vegetable side dish. So, like I said, I went ahead and got this heated up. I'm going to add my carrots and my mushrooms. Get all that in there. Get a little toss, and now we're going to get ready, get our shallot ready. Shallots are kind of like baby onions; they have a little bit different taste to them, but they're still yummy. Uh, and they're just like an onion; they got that root, that stem into it and that little root into it. We're going to cut that stem end off, and then kind of peel the shallot. Like so, it's kind of just like an onion that. That skin likes to stick to it. Sometimes you gotta use the tip of your knife to kind of help you underneath that skin. Be careful doing that so that that you don't poke yourself, because that wouldn't be very much fun. Get this peeled. Come on. There we go. So we got our shallot nice and peeled. Kind of push all that off to the side. And I'm just going to cut this up into little rings. 
that wheel kind of looked cool in the the medley stuff here. So this will it's just like an onion, you know. There's there's a couple of different rings to it, and it all kind of break up whenever whenever you get cooking. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to the pan. Grab my wooden spoon. Give it all a nice little stir. It's looking starting to look good. We're going to let this go for a couple more minutes and we'll add our green beans. But now we're going to work on our our fish. So I got two cod fillets here. You could do, you know, grouper, halibut, sea bass. You could do this dish with uh, salmon too, but we're using cod today. So I'm going to do some salt and pepper on both sides. I'll season the other side when we get into the pan. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this on to medium high heat. I got my oil in the pan already, so that way it can heat up. Just going to stir my veggies here while while that's heating up. This is a nice, easy, quick thing you can do on you know, any any busy weeknight if you got the stuff ready. You know, it takes a couple seconds or a couple minutes to cut the vegetables. It'll take about 10 minutes to cook everything completely. And then you have a nice, nice yummy dinner ready to go. So we got our fish here. Pan needs to heat up just a little more. I'm gonna go ahead and add my green beans. So that way they can they can start cooking down some too. Give a little toss. And I have a, a fun seasoning blend here that we're going to put on our veggies. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit, you can see it on the recipe. It's just a combination of salt, pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, thyme, parsley, paprika, oregano, and cumin. So nothing, nothing too crazy. Just kind of mix it all together. And we'll just sprinkle about a teaspoon on top of all this. And just mix it all up. I can start to smell that. That smells great. And another trick we can do is the lemon we're going to squeeze on top of our fish. We can add that lemon zest to the to the vegetable medley. That's got a zester here. You see that right, right over top. That's going to give us some nice, nice, you know, citrusy flavors there. You always want zest before you. You juice stuff because it's kind of hard to squeeze uh, our or zest our juice, lemon, lime, orange, whatever it might be. So we'll get all that off there. Oh man, this is smelling great. Is that little toss? All right. Now we're going to start our our fish. So you can kind of look at the cod and you'll see that line right there that's that's the skin side that's where they uh, you know they flayed the fish and took the skin of it off and you'll see on the other side this is this is the non non flay side or non skin side so we're gonna put this skin side down first and it's gonna let that sit and that's gonna start doing its its thing we're going to do about three to four minutes on one side and then the same on the other. It depends on the thickness of your fish. If it's a thicker piece of fish, you, know, you want to do about four minutes. If it's a thinner piece of fish, you want to do three minutes. That way you don't overcook the fish. So our veggies are, are smelling and doing great. That lemon zest really adds some nice, some nice smells to this. It's going to be awesome. I'm going to go ahead and start getting my sage leaves ready. Uh, we're, we're going to add this to the pan whenever we do our brown butter sauce. Uh, sage goes great with, 
with brown butter and citrus. So we're just taking a couple leaves and picking them. And we're just going to throw those right into the, the butter whenever we get the butter added to our pan. So, hot fresh sage smells great. I know I can't wait to try this. I hope you guys are, uh, are ready to give this a go too when you get home. So yeah, the hard part is just kind of letting it sit and do its thing. Because you want you want to leave it there so we get a nice sear on it. So like I said, about four minutes for these. One side, I'll do four minutes on the other side. You, you can already kind of see, we're starting to get a little browning on it. We want to let it get a little bit further. It hasn't been quite four minutes yet, but you can see on the edges browning so we're we're getting there doing the right the right thing for it mm. I don't know if I'm going to share with you today Jonathan this might all be for me just going to turn that down a little bit I care try to run away from me The reason I started the vegetables before the fish is sometimes the carrots and the mushrooms take a little bit longer to cook. And depending on how thick your piece of fish is, you know, your fish could be done before your vegetables are ready to go. So that's why I started the veggies first. Fish is fish cooks pretty quickly. You know, you want you want to let the vegetables go for a little bit so you can get some nice, you know, color on them and let them cook down a little bit so they're they're nice and tender and the way you want them. So we're going to go ahead and give our, our fish a flip here. We got a little bit of a sear on there, it's looking good. Now we're just going to let this go for another, another four minutes. And this is the side you want to really leave alone because you're not really going to present with the, where the skin side was. You want to present the, the fillet like the flay or the inside side of it. So we want to make sure we leave that alone and just let it get a nice sear on it. So that way you can present that for your Instagram and your Facebook pictures or you know, your date if, you, if you're doing this for a date. So we're just letting this go. And you can already see the, the shallots in this are starting to caramelize, so we're getting some nice flavor out of those. The onions are really starting to cook down a little bit. The carrots are tender. The green beans are starting to you know, get a little, little different color green on them, so you know they're going to be, you know, they're going to have that nice little snap to it that you like, but not be, not be mush. So this is going to be a nice, nice little meal. And the, the brown butter sauce is going to go great with the vegetables too. hard part of waiting. And all we're going to do for the brown butter sauce is we're literally just going to throw the butter into this pan and let it kind of get brown and foamy. And when we throw the butter, we're going to throw the, the sage leaves into because they're going to fry up. And you can just put that right on top of the fish. It's going to be a nice little crispy garnish that you can eat. And it's going to be, it's going to be great. See how these guys are looking. Not quite there yet. Getting, getting nice and tender. It's going to be a nice, nice, you know, dinner. I said we just need, you know, a few minutes on each side. I'm going to grab a plate. So that way, whenever we're ready to present or to make our brown butter sauce, we can take this off. So that way, we can make the butter sauce in the pan. You can do both at the same time, but it's easier to kind of just let the let the fish rest a little bit while you're making the sauce because the sauce doesn't take any time at all to do. So these guys are still nice and tender. Get, get these guys some oils to try to get a nice little crust around the edges. I wish you guys had smell-o-vision so, so you could smell this. This is 
This is going great. Now what's nice too is you can go to the farmer's market right now and find you know, green beans at the wazoo. And you know you can do, do this you know, every night and just change up the other things to go with it. You can do you know, the carrots and mushrooms one night. You can change up to onions and bell peppers. You know, you can do broccoli and squash with it. And you know, have all sorts of great stuff from the farmer's market. We got, I got some spaghetti squash I'm getting ready to do. It's going to be yummy. I can't wait. So these guys are just about there. They're still a little jiggly, but not completely uncooked. You can kind of press on it a little bit, and if it starts to, to flake a little bit, that, that'll let you know you're, you're almost there. So these guys probably need just another minute and we'll pull them off and we'll start making our uh, brown butter sauce. The veggies are looking good. We're going to just kind of turn that down low, let them sit so that way they stay warm. So we have a nice warm meal of everything. So we'll... See that guy's done. We'll go ahead and pull that off. We'll pull this guy off. Let's kind of let them rest for a second. And then we're going to take our four tablespoons of butter. Let's add this right, right to the pan. We're going to take our sage leaves, throw those in whole as well. Now it's got a little spoon. I'm just going to kind of move this butter around to help help melt it faster. You can cut this up into pieces and it'll go faster. Uh, just be careful because sometimes you get a little bit of a splatter whenever you do this. So we're just kind of melting this butter down. And these sage leaves are starting to fry in here as well. And you'll, you can watch them start going from, you know, the the green that they were, and they'll start getting a, a darker green the longer they stay in there. So we're just letting this go. Yeah, you can flip the sage leaves if you want. You can see they're starting to brown or you know get get a darker green. And basically, we're just letting this sit for a little bit, and it'll start. You kind of get, you know, it's nice and frothy now. You want to let it brown a little bit. You only need, you know, maybe two minutes at the most to, to brown your butter. We'll go ahead and turn off the veggies so that way they can, they'll be ready to go in just a second. So I'm going to grab a plate and start plating a little bit while that's finishing up. So we got our We'll add our lemon juice right at the end so that way we get a nice bright flavor. But we'll take some of our veggies here and kind of pile them together. Take our piece of fish and we'll kind of lay this at an angle on it. Our butter is, if, if you look at the butter, you can kind of see it's starting to get brown around the edges of the pan. That, that's what you want. We're going to add our lemon juice. This will kind of eat. This will kind of sizzle and pop a little bit, so be careful. Don't do this, you know, too close to your face. If you get a lemon seed in there, make sure you pull it out. These sage leaves will will crisp up now that we got them out of the the butter. I'm just going to take this butter sauce and just pour it right over top. Now we've got a nice lemon, 
seared cod and a lemon brown butter sauce with a vegetable medley. This is going to be an awesome meal and it takes no time to do. I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. We'll see you later.